So let's talk about my favorite part of the hiring process. It's whiteboarding, also known as live design challenge. A whiteboard challenge is typically done with a bunch of people in the room. There could be designers, there could be one or two representatives from product or engineering. A whiteboard challenge is where you're given a live design challenge as a part of the interviews. You usually have 30 minutes to an hour to complete the challenge. Nothing else comes close to demonstrating how a UX designer thinks and behaves than a whiteboard challenge. That's why it's my favorite. From an interviewer's perspective, it's not about how many ideas you come up with or how beautiful your sketches are. It's really how you approach the problem and how you work with other designers or the group in general in this session. How you work during whiteboard challenges is how you work with the team. And that's what the interviewers are really evaluating. But what else or what specific things are we evaluating as hiring managers? There's a lot of things. And some examples are here. Do you ask questions to get clarity on the goal? Do you focus on the user and their context? Do you make valid assumptions and ask the right questions? Do you go beyond UI and think holistically about the whole scenario? Do you understand basic principles and patterns? Do you mention weaknesses and improvements in your solution? Do you take feedback and suggestions gracefully? There are some bonus points that you could get by understanding the whole product development process. Do you suggest ideas outside the scope of the exercise? Do you have suggestions for user research, roadmap and execution? Do you understand potential technical constraints? And these bonus points are really geared towards the whole product or engineering, but also shows a more strategic level as a designer. So you've learned about the potential of how you'll be evaluated, but let's give you some good and bad examples to make this point really clear.